Nick, I know we're here. Uh, Jake, one of the greatest Warzone players of all time, if not the greatest. Uh, that belt should should be his. Cody, greatest manager of all time. We know this. Am I a good manager? No, I'm not. Do I think that you can beat Jake? Eh, it's going to be rough. <laughs> Fucking A. I'm so excited. Uh, this is going to be great. How do you feel, buddy? Let me lay this down for you right now. Oh, man. Okay? Everyone thinks this is my debut in Warzone. Don't count the five-way play-ins. I have one match under my belt. Go back and watch it. I played the one and only Brian Michaels, and we all know that that match was just a bunch of bullshit. They only asked questions that Brian knew the answer to. I call shenanigans. Just saying. So, you know what? Bring on Jake, because I could take the best of them. But maybe in the future, if I could play someone who's not uh, one or two seated, that would be great as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so let's see what this Jake is all about. Uh, Jake. Let's do this, Nick. Let's make it a fandom match. No? Oh, please. Yeah. Jake, if you lose this match this year, I'm throwing myself off my roof. I swear to God, if you lose this match, I will literally launch myself off my roof. I can't deal with this. Last year, when Beller pulled, everybody says it wasn't a fluke. I'm sorry. It was one of the biggest flukes. I'm sorry if we saw the match previously. He lost. To go. He shouldn't have beat you last year. Fate was against us. Brian was writing questions. Things got weird. This time, Order has been restored. Please win this man. I love Tuing. Well, I picked them Tuing to win fandom stuff. Not here. Tuing, you can't win. Jake, you have to win. Go back and get that belt. Beat that fake, fake, weird child that lives in Iowa. I need that belt back. He knew stuff about Silkwood, apparently, and Peaches. I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. It's been two weeks of hell. Win me this match and win more matches. I need the belt back in the first order. Um, well, you know, ever since the Bella incident of 2019, I'm never looking past the 32 seed ever, ever again. Um, I don't know how I found myself back to being the number one seed after last year, but it, it's happened. You know, things were different. I'm a much better and different player than I was a year ago. Take the game 10 times more serious. And, you know, I'm going to make sure that I don't make the same mistakes as I did last time. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm not counting up to a week, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's do better than I did last year. I edit matches. I can go as long as I want. We'll see you in the ring, too. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Multiplex Movie Warzone Tournament. Uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> it's it's funny because Cody Newberry could probably set my house on fire. Uh, we've got Jake versus Tuig. This is a match. Coho, how do you feel about this match? I'm so ready for this. Uh, honestly, I think everyone is coming into this with bated breath. Uh, Nick Tuig is no Ethan Beller in terms of 32 seed prowess, but you can never count out Nick Tuig in anything. Uh, Jake Marangoni is the one seed again. Uh, Jake is one of the best. We we know that firsthand uh, playing him. Uh, uh, so I wholly expect Jake to have a great showing, but I, I can't. I can't discount Nick Tuig, uh, and I can't wait to see what happens today. Okay, so without further ado, let's get our competitors into the ring. Introducing first with a record of eight wins, four defeats, representing the concept of what a hamburger is all about. The current Movie Warzone team champion, the former Movie Warzone singles champion, and a member of the First Order, it is Jake the Maestro Marangoni. And uh, coming to the ring second with... Zero wins, one defeat, representing the First Order and scruffy-looking nerf herders. It is Nick, the name Twig. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. 
Introducing, or we're gonna get into round one. Round one can work like this: eight different questions, eight different categories. You get a like right, you get a bonus question. Uh, you're gonna get three repeats and a challenge throughout the entire match. Remember to keep your hands on the screen at all times. Your first question is gonna come in the category of family films, a family picture. What is the subtitle of the second SpongeBob SquarePants movie? Uh, fun fact, I saw this film on a date, and I instantly broke up with that person. Fair. I never wanted to watch Spongebob again. There. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, let's start with Nick. Was that the one that was called Sponge Out of Water? And Jake. I, fuck, I was going to write Sponge, I just write Out of Water. It is sponge out of water, so Nick strikes first blood as we get into your next question. Oh, everyone, shut up! <laughs> not only did they make, not only did they make a second one, Cody. The third one comes out this year. All right, your second question, your second question of the match, is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. What is the name of the homeland of the Navi in Avatar? You know, this is a, a great TV show. You've got Aang, Sokka, Katara. Wrong one. Oh, wrong one. Wrong avatar. Uh, wrong one. Uh, oh. I, I feel like what just happened is like the first round of Rocky Three in the rematch where, where Rocky knocks Clover Lang down. Five, <laughs> I feel four, like that's what we just three, two, repeat one. it. Repeat it. Okay, repeat. We got it in. All right. In the category of sci fi fantasy. What is the name of the homeland of the Navi in Avatar? That is Nick's first repeat. Twig is digging in his brain for the answer. It's there somewhere. You know the repeat. I might, I might blow it all on this question. <laughs> We're going to go. And Blowing it all on this question is four, something he's like three, doing. Two, one, ten down, too late for repeats. Let's start with Jake. Pandora. And Tuig. I, oh, I, it crossed my mind, but I got the P. Okay, well. I game. No perfect rounds. Tie game. game. As we get into your next topic of romance slash romantic comedy, who does Judy Dench play in Shakespeare in Love? Do you have a favorite Shakespeare play? Uh, the one where everyone dies. That's a good one. That's that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really like, like the one with the five. Which one? Twelve Angry Men. That's a great Shakespeare play. Oh, that's a great Shakespeare play. Yeah. Pens down. Let's start with uh, Tuig. Queen Elizabeth. And Jake. Queen Elizabeth. We cannot accept that. Is there another Queen Elizabeth the second? There are, it's Queen Elizabeth the first. There are multiple Queen Elizabeths. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, there are multiple Queen Elizabeths in the movie? No. Can we bring Blue Thought Managers in just for a second? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh, the managers would like to, to come in, apparently. If it's the first, it's just. She's listening okay. to Queen Elizabeth on IMDb. Throw that challenge here's the thing. Up here's, immediately. Here's, here's my challenge. You don't put Queen Elizabeth the first. Okay, so are you challenging? So that yeah, challenge. Well, here's my, well, here's my comparison. Back when there was only one war, they didn't call it World War One. They called it the World War. They didn't call it World they War One. There was never World War Two. The Great War, but they never called it one. Back they when didn't call her Queen Elizabeth, 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 Elizabeth. Elizabeth. They called her Queen yeah. Elizabeth. There was there yeah. has to be a second to call her the first. Throw the challenge flag. We'll get it back. Throw it. I'm throwing it. Okay. Together we're throwing. Jake, it. It. Jake, threw it. Jake threw it first, so it will count towards them. We are back from the challenge. Uh, we are uh, giving both the competitors the point because on IMDb she is credited as Queen Elizabeth. So, uh, your next question, Coho. Your next question is in the category of scores and soundtracks. Who performed the song Try Everything for the Zootopia soundtrack? This song is dope. It's I, I don't like this one, but yeah, you know, I like the fine. Movie. I like I, I, I like the movie. Sounds kind of generic, but yeah, I like the movie. Five, four, three, two, 
one. And so let's start with Jake. Tui's going to get it because it's a fandom movie. Shakira. And Tui. <laughs> He's not wrong. Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Right. Three, three. Your next question in the category of actors and actresses. What character has been played by Rex Harrison, Eddie Murphy, and Robert Downey Jr.? Tui just made the living uh, blinking face guy meme. You just made up the name Rex Harrison, didn't you? You made it up. Can neither confirm nor deny. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down, pens down. I'm gonna start with Tuig. Sorry, I had to think of Roman numerals. King Henry the Eighth. And Jake. Up to Doolittle. That is correct. And a lot more. <laughs> All right, your next question. Uh, your next question is in the uh, category of '80s movies. Who plays the recently deceased Barbara Maitland in Beetlejuice? Be careful, don't say it three times or he'll show up. How to think of numerals. Doesn't do like I fucking love you. Five, four, three, two, one, pen sound. Start with Jake. Gina Davis. And to it. That's not how you spell Sally Field. <laughs> All right, five, three, Jake's favors go to the penultimate question, Bobby. All right, your penultimate question, category classics. In Sunset Boulevard, Norma is hoping that her comeback film would be directed by what real-life director? Oh, two went right to the board. Very impressive. Very impressive. Unless I'm thinking of the totally wrong movie or... Family I wonder which one of these people likes this movie or has seen it not referencing a poster on someone's wall. I have some. Three, two, right one. There. Pen sound. Let's start with Tuig. Is this the movie where they say I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. De De DeMille? Cecil B. DeMille? And Jake. Cecil B. DeMille. That is Halfway there. And your final question of the round in the category of drama. What film is about a man who, after learning his father has died, returns home to Cincinnati to find that his inheritance was left to his autistic brother, whom he never knew existed? What was the category of this? A uh, drama. Ah, great. Not sure. Well, that sometimes I wish I didn't know that Eli Boltman existed, because then that would save me from so much physical and emotional pain. 1-800-CORPSE. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jake. Can I just say, if it wasn't for Sponge, I would have a perfect round. Uh, it's raining. Cool. And Tuig. Oh! Uh, I said my cousin Vinny, but... <laughs> That's not what that movie's about. All right. <laughs> So at the end of uh, round number one, I have Jake in the lead with seven, Nick trailing with four. Okay. So now we're going to bring in the wheel from wheeldecide.com. Round two is going to work like this. Each person going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. They don't, they can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. Um, you're going to get five questions in whatever category you get. You get it right, two points. Go to multiple choice. That's one point. Or if you get it wrong, uh-oh, other person gets a chance to steal you're going to get five questions, whatever category you get. The categories that we have on the wheel are comedies, classics, Jake's strength of directors and Jake's strength of Oscars, Twig's strength of Middle Earth and strength of Adam McKay, biopics, sci-fi fantasy, and spinners and opponent's choice. So, Jake, I will bring the manager in. <sighs> I'm glad we won that challenge because my entire internet just crashed. Um, I think we're going second. Yeah, we're going second. Okay. Why? Is it your spin twig? Tim, I think we should go first. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. Okay, your first spin is going to land on comedies. Oh, so so again. Should we? What do you think? We could take it, and you could maybe do pretty good. In 
in the play-in, uh, Mark got the the comedies, and I like would have done kind of okay at them. But also, it's not one of the two things I put on the wheel, so I think. Yeah. I not, I what do you think? Me. If if you take it, he's he's gonna sweep whatever he gets unless it's Middle Earth. So do you wanna do you wanna try to just go for it, or do you just want to take this? I'm leaving it to you. Oh, thank you, manager. <laughs> I uh, think I think it's worth risking it. But at the same time, I think that you could do good in comedies. Let's let's spin again. Great. I'm using Nico logic. I'm fucking drunk. Either way, we're having a great time. And you land on Oscars. Well, That's we're fucked. That's <laughs> great. That's a big pick. <laughs> Specifically because I'm bad at it. And he's Tim, they're doing a great job. I'd okay. like to say, quote of the match is, well, we're fucked. <laughs> Tim McCalla, 2020. Okay. Just before we start, where my, my hands can be here? Yes. Uh, here. No, your no, hands are not there. Not there. there. Damn, what's <laughs> happening? You're going around too, Jacob. Okay. Oh, you want to take the <laughs> Oscar uh, questions? Absolutely. All right. Mr. Tuig, your first question in the category of Oscars. Yeah. How many Oscars has Lady Gaga been nominated for? Inquisitive expressions. So, just general Oscars. I don't think there was one before the thing, uh, but she was nominated for actress and song. So, two? As incorrect, Jake, the chance for the two point steal. Three. That is correct for was two for, points. Was it for the same two. movie? The original song for Happens to You, or that was the name of the song. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh. The two original yeah. song nominations and actress. All right, your second question. Meryl Streep received her first Oscar nomination for what film? Multiple choice. The options are A, The Deer Hunter, B, The French Lieutenant's Woman, C, Julia, or D, Kramer vs. Kramer. Um, well, I think you made up the name of the second film that you said. I don't think that was real. Um, five. Four. Based on Jake's reaction to what I just said, I'm going to say B. That's incorrect, Jake. The chance for a one point steal. Your options again are A, the deer hunter, B, the French lieutenant's woman, C, Julia, or D, Kramer versus Kramer. The deer hunter. That's correct for another point. That was my gut. Jake's Mr. Twig, your third question in the category of Oscars. What film won the Oscar for Best Sound Mixing for films released in 2019? Who cares, Coho? <laughs> I did not write this question. Do not yell at me. You asked it. I don't work here, Nick. 2019. Obviously, there's probably a fandom movie. Which is, they were like, oh, we'll, get, we'll throw Nick a bone, but everyone hates fandom Oscars, so who gives a crap? Multiple yeah. choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Parasite. B, Ford v. Ferrari, C, 1917, or D, Ad Astra? Oh, it's not. So they were just like screw Nick in general. Um, uh, you know what? Ford v. Ferrari. That is incorrect to Jake for the chance for the point steal. 1917. That, was my that is correct for one point. Oh, wow. Repent was... ultimate question the category of Oscars, Nick. Yep. What actress won the Best Actress Oscar for films released in 1999? It was a wee lad at that point. Uh, I, I, too, was a wee lad. I think we all were wee lads. <laughs> uh, multiple choice. Your multiple choice yeah. options are A, Hilary Swank, B, Gwyneth Paltrow, C, Annette Benning, or D, Julia Roberts? Um, could you repeat those options? Because it's going to help a lot. Absolutely. Your options are A, Hillary Swank, B, Gwyneth Paltrow, C, Annette Benning, or D, Julia Roberts. Uh, a. That was correct for one point. Come on! Yes! And your last no, question. Man. Your last question, Mr. Tuig, in the category of Oscars. Okay. What was the only Oscar category? For which, if Beale Street could talk, won. 
I do have to bring this back up just because I know who directed it. It was, direct, it was directed by the player. But I don't think he won. I don't work here. Uh, you know what? We're going to swing big and hope that Jake uh, hits Middle Earth and we're going to say original screenplay. Adapted screenplay. We have to incorrect Jake the chance. Supporting actress. Oh. That is correct for two points. Or Jim or King, King, sorry. Okay. What about right. more matters? At the end of Nick's turn, Jake has the lead 13 to 5, but anything can happen as Jake gets his spin. We got one. We got one, Tim. Middle with. Come on. I really want middle with. Jake, if your fandom breaker wasn't so bad, I'd put you against two so you can get your ass beat like you're about to right. right now. Shoot. Gosh. <laughs> this is just painful to watch. Hey, man. I'm having a great time. I'm glad. Classics. 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 We can spend some away from that, right? Sure. I guess you can. I mean, <laughs> if you have Middle Earth, this is going to be a game, buddy. <laughs> we just need two points, Jake. Okay. Sci fi fantasy. Please use multiple choice. Bye. No, oh, sorry. sorry. Go big. <laughs> so, wait, what is the scores? Just so I. Uh, 13, uh, 13 to 5. 13 to 5. Okay. So, I got to go at least three. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Jake, your first question in the realm of sci-fi fantasy. In Edge of Tomorrow, the Omega is located under which famous tourist attraction? The Louvre? That is correct for two points. I was right in Big Ben. Who plays at Zeus in 1981's Clash of the Titans? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Orson Welles, B, Laurence Olivier, C, Peter O'Toole, D, Alec Guinness. Peter at all. That is incorrect. Nick, for the one point steal, your multiple choice options are A, Orson Welles, B, Lawrence Olivier, C, Peter O'Toole, D, Alec Guinness. Okay, I don't think we're making it to round three, so if you could repeat that, I'm just going to go ahead and. Okay. Just, I'll yeah. <laughs> A, Orson Welles, the B, plan. Lawrence Olivier, the the plan. Plan. using one of his repeats. Yeah. Okay, using one of your repeats. Who plays Zeus in 1981's Clash of the Titans? A, Orson Welles. B, Lawrence Olivier. C, Peter O'Toole. D, Alec Guinness. Lawrence Olivier. That is correct for one point. I know it was 50-50. Yeah. Your next question, Jake. The first scene in Her shows Theodore dictating a letter for what special occasion? More romance than sci-fi. But... Nobody cares your opinion. That was that was a little rude. I like this movie as well. Uh, multiple choice. A, uh, birthday. B, graduation. C, wedding anniversary. D, Valentine's Day. Wedding anniversary. That is correct for one point. And I do just want to say that question was written by your team partner. So if you have a problem, <laughs> love you, Michael. <laughs> Who played the nutty professor in the original film of the same name? Jerry Lewis. Correct for two points. What's the score? I'm checking. 18, yeah. 18-6. No, it's not. Jake, stop doing that where you think you've won before you've won. <laughs> No, I'm not. I just want to check so I know when. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm not trying to. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I didn't want you to re repeat your second real moment. Uh, okay. What they're talking about. So the only way uh, Tuig can still stay in this, though, is if he gets a two point steal. Oh, so <laughs> if you've got a multiple choice, if you've got a multiple choice, that's what I win. Mean. I swear to God. Oh, I love you. He's alive. <laughs> In Maleficent, 
What metal is revealed to be lethal to the fairies? Multiple choice. Damn it! Multiple choice options are A, iron, B, copper, C, silver, D, aluminum. Iron. And your winner! By way of knockout, it is Jake the Maestro Marangoni. The correct answer was iron. So, we're going to go to post-match interview, starting with Tuig and Tim. Tuig, Tim, how do you feel about this match? I'd like to say two things. One, Tuig, I'm sorry. should have had you keep comedies. My bad. Uh, second thing, I'm really glad the judges or the hosts here are uh, telling the competitors what and what not to do in order to uh, get wins. For all we know, Jake would have been stupid enough to guess on two and let us steal it. Uh, but no, Boatman had to say, oh, if you go to multiple Trulace, then there's no way for him to get it. I'm glad that happened. Thank you, Boatman. Uh, no, you can bring in the other two as well. Uh, we love yeah. them. We're happy I don't want you. to. You can bring them in. They they won, and we're happy that they're they're in our fashion. Yeah. Yes, this was a this giant. Is a, this this is a happy. group. This is a group one. Okay. Do this. do I believe that was a douche move to go to multiple tours? Yes. Did a fandom question? Wait, hold on. Did a fandom question come up? Yes. So obviously, it's a fair enough that you would know that, and he probably would. Okay. So, I, I think this is. Uh, I think. Again, I think as Warzone, we owe to a, a, a person that is not Brian Michaels or Jake Marangoni. Um, he did offer the spot, so it's not all of our faults, but we will give you a nice match on yeah. return. I think that's fair. Real quick, Cody. You know who I want? I want Caleb Boatman. I faced, uh, I faced Brian Michaels. I faced Jake Marangoni. You give me Boatman. I am owed Boatman, but also uh, I have something just – to release, you know, this was given to me behind the scenes. They asked me not to tell anyone. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. The bracket for next year's tournament has been released. I have it here with me. I'm going to show you all. Um, so a couple of play-in matches need to happen. But as you can see, uh, I'm right up there at the 32 seed. Oh, wait. There's my name twice right there. So uh, keep, keep an eye out. 2021. Uh, but on to the other side, uh, Jake, I'm happy. That you had a great match. Uh, I think we needed a rebound match. Um, again, say what you want about the title match. I think we made it a lot closer after round two than it was. Um, we're just we're hungry to get back to the title match. We're hungry to pretty much face what we want is another member of the first order to meet in the finals. That's the whole goal of this entire tournament, and then let the best person win to go for the title. It sucks that one of these people, like Michael and uh, Tyler, have to face in the first round, so that's another issue. But as long as one of them on that side meet Jake, I'm going to be happy with it. Even if it's Antonio versus Jake to get into the finals, I'm cool with that. We just yeah. we need that singles belt back. Boatman's a fine champion, um, but he's too cocky for his britches, and he's about as fake as that tree behind him. So let's go see you in round two, and two will be in our corner to cheer us up. Yes, I, first order, I, yeah. Three short things to say. One, thanks, Tuig, for stepping up. Um, in my defense, I thought it could have been Iron, but it was also a fandom movie, and I knew that you would know it. So I was like, maybe just take multiple, just take the win, and then just guess Iron, because that's probably, that was in my thing. I want to, you know, when it comes to fandom questions in Warzone, I it's it's anyone's game, especially if you're a fandom player. And so I just didn't want to take the risk. Oh, yeah. um, so I am looking forward to the next round. I think it's what it's either Thomas or Sean. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Um, I I played Thomas before. I bring on again. Wasa Krug. That would bring be on Wasa Krug in that fake stone that group that throws cards at each other in the library. I want it Wasa Krug. It would be fun to play someone who averages three points in round one in a in a round two match. That would be fun. Um, and third of all, I entered the teams tournament with the single spell, and I won that. I'm going to enter the singles tournament with the team spell. So let's see what happens. Oh. And I'm the cocky one. Oh, okay. more... go back. Oh, Mr. Truly get one last one more one. thing. I, I was winning after question one. You guys remember that? That was awesome. I remember that. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, Coho, final thoughts. 
I don't care what the score is. Nick Tuig won in my heart today. Um, the I mean, moment he got right. smudged out of water, right, and Jake fucking missed. That was the win for me. Uh, but no, I like I, I like this. This was a good match, uh, regardless. Tuig kept it really close in round one. He just got really unlucky on that round two spin. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, solid win for Jake. Uh, what are you gonna do? Jake was probably gonna win this for day one. Uh, so uh, I'm just excited to see what Jake does in round two. And right. I'm excited to see what Tuig does post tournament. <laughs> Always. Well, without further ado, uh, let's <laughs> get out of here. So, from Nick, from Jake, from Tim and Cody, and from Coho, this has been Multiplex Movie Warzone, bringing the dancing lobsters. <laughs>